YouTube and pipe community. What is going on? I'm going to do a bourbon review and a backy review. Never opened this one yet. This is Peter Heinrich's number 169. Gotta love that pop. Well, you probably can't see that, but beautiful tobacco. Nicely packed. The description on this one says uh, full bodied English, broad cut Virginia, Oriental, and Syrian Latakia. Uh, I have all, almost all his blends. I haven't gotten around to uh, trying a lot of them because I just got so many things already open and I don't like to open new things all the time. But I'm starting to do better at that. I'm opening things and just putting them in mason jars. Be the first time I ever tried this one. Uh, a couple of the other ones I know offhand I have are uh, number 30, I think number 36 or 39. I have like six of them. Hurry up and give this a light. And I'm also going to uh, Blanton's I'm going to do this tonight. Blanton's is one of my favorite bourbons. It's a good bourbon under around the $50 range. Kind of like all English blends. Uh, you got that smoky, woodsy, campfire, Northwoods type. I'm one of these guys, I do it right off the whim. I don't have to smoke 10 bowls of this to tell you whether or not I like it or not. I like it. It, uh, did say it was, yeah, it said full-bodied English. Uh, I don't believe it's full-bodied. It's got a, kind of like a 965 from a Dunhill type. Kind of mild, I think. Very good. I like it. It's something I could smoke all day. Broad cut Virginia Orientals and Syrian Latakia. This one coming in a three and a half ounce tin. If you like all the other English blends, give this a try. I know you'll like this. Pretty good. Smoke it in one of my... Uh, my own mortar pipes I made a while back. Yeah, really good. I, I don't get where they say full body though. I mean, unless I'm just getting so used to them that they're not full body to me anymore. Get a really good taste. It lights and burns really easy. No tongue bite. Okay, this here, a lot of people have been asking me about bourbon reviews. Like I said, I'm no expert. This is the original single barrel bourbon whiskey. This bourbon whiskey was dumped on February 21st, 2012, stored in Warehouse H, each individually selected, filtered, and bottled by hand at 93 proof from barrel number 195 on Rick number 9. 93 proof. Like I said, you can get this for about 50 bucks, maybe even under. Depends on where you live. Oh, 
it smells so sweet. I've got to work tomorrow, so I'm just doing a sample. I had a guy on Instagram like, dude, why didn't you fill it up? Right off the bat, I'm getting the strong alcohol, ah, alcohol smell, actually. Floral notes, smells like uh, baking spices. It's making my throat, it's making my throat mouth water before I even uh, take a drink. Like I said, at 93 proof, it shouldn't be too hard of a bite. Oh, wow. Caramel. Caramel, cinnamon, cloves, pepper. Uh, like I said, I've had Blanton's. I've had several bottles of Blanton's, but I've usually mixed it with Coke. Really good combination. This would be really good paired with the good cigar. Not real overpowering. Real long finish. Still going down burning. But on a good burn. Not a not an intense burn. Just like a smooth coat. Almost, it's it's so, uh, the bouquet is so prominent, it's almost like flowers. I'm not getting anything really much different. Really kind of sweet tasting. I said not much burn. If uh, you're new to bourbons and you want to get into bourbons and uh, you're looking for things around the 50 buck range and you want, you want to get something that's not too overpowering, another good one I recommend. This would be one you could see me sitting out on my deck in the summertime enjoying a nice cigar with. I found a good pairing. This really goes good with this tobacco. Sometimes you'll get a bourbon that just completely over dominates the taste of the tobacco, whether it's a cigar or a pipe. And uh, it's really good together. That's about all I got. I'm kind of short on time today. Stay tuned. Uh, when I get got back up with uh, stuff I got going on, I'll do another uh, pipe contest giveaway. But right now, I got so many things going on, I don't have time. Uh, we got a big snowstorm this week. We got more coming this weekend. It's like 10 degrees out right now. It's going to get down to like 10, 15 below this weekend. I'll show you some of the snow after this video. Just a little picture. But other than that, I got nothing else much to talk about, so I'm just mumbling. Talk to you boys and girls later. Remember, whether you are a cigar lover or a pipe smoker, whatever your belief, we are all brothers and sisters of the leaf.